Let's have a little empathy here. Put yourself in a lesbian shoes. Who do lesbians date? Women. Who do they who do, who do they do they move in with? Women. Who do they get in relationships with? Women. Who do they eventually marry? Women. And I was thinking like, oh my God, I did that. I know what it's like to live with one of those fucking things. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. It's hopeless. Trying to make them happy. Hey, I got you the shiny thing. Did I do it right? Huh? Trying to get them to take responsibility for their actions. Not gonna happen. The best you're gonna get is I'm sorry, but I know what it's like to be winning a fucking argument. You're winning. What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a musical five, Minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't. Are you What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back on to a new video guys. Today we're going to be reacting to Billboard jokes that get you cancelled in 10 minutes. There's 10 minutes. So uh, uh, this is going to be really exciting. I love B-Boy a lot. So I can't wait to check this out. You know how I do it guys. We'll talk less over here don't react more. Let's get into this video. Like let's play a game. I'll just name different people you see and see the slides that come into your head, right? Construction worker. Sports fan, painter, skateboarder, lesbian. <laughs> right? It all goes blank. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, is that a lesbian? I mean, I have gay friends, but I've never noticed any sort of a through line. That's Listen, true. People, I'm not saying all lesbians look alike. I would never say some ignorant shit like that. However, I am saying, though, every once in a while, there's a fucking layup. Black top, wallet chain, fucking walking up the street. Yeah, he makes that. But even then, even then, I'm not saying 100%, but gun to my head, I gotta go lesbian. <laughs> gotta go lesbian. Final answer, final answer, show me lesbian. I'm not hurting anybody. Think about it. You eat a cheeseburger that's protein. That's good for your muscles, right? And I don't know about you guys, but after I rub one out, I'm more relaxed. I'm less likely to lash out at my fellow man. I'm in a great space mentally. I think they just, they just make it all up. But it's weird though, because I'm kind of feeling this thing, because I haven't been in church in a while. I'm kind of feeling like, you know, I want to go back, but I need a new religion, man. That's why I'm kind of between religions right now. You know, like I used to be Catholic, but you know, I can't be Catholic anymore, you know? I mean, once they started fucking the kids, I was just like, all right, dude, you know what? I'm out, okay? You guys party way too fucking hard for me, okay? I didn't see that page in the book. I don't know what you guys are doing. I can't believe they're still in business. People are still showing up. Name one other business that could survive that shit. You think if there were fucking kids at Walmart, they could sell rakes the next day? And just try to play it off like, yeah, we had a little problem in aisle eight, but you know, we got some slacks over here. We got kitchen appliances. We got some hula hoops. We got some points. Now look. I know you're not supposed to make fun of fat people. I understand, all right? I don't know why, though. <laughs> why? They're not a race. They're not a religion. It's totally curable. Eat an apple and go for a walk, you know? Why are you yelling at everybody else? The fuck are you giving me shit for, all right? You put the cookies in there. I didn't. How is this my problem? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you ate your way in, you can walk your way out, <laughs> all right? And just slowly start shedding the pounds. Okay. Shove some fucking lettuce in there instead of a bunch of ho-hos, and it's, it's going to come down, and then you're on my side of the fence, right? Join me. Come on, say it with me. Shame. Shame. <laughs> right? This might be the most arrogant thing I say all night, but I actually resent the fact that I'm going to get judged someday. Like, if that's true, that somebody's gonna judge me, like, doesn't even make any sense. It's like, dude, you made me, so this is your fuck up, all right? Let's, let's not try to turn this around on me, you know? You give me freedom of choice, you make whores, you have me suck at math, and you don't think this thing's gonna go off the rails? Like, you set me up to fail, and now you got the balls to now question your own goddamn work. Dude, if I made a car, if I built a car and it didn't run, 
I wouldn't like burn it forever. You evil piece of shit, light it on fire. I wouldn't, I would troubleshoot. Is there gas in the engine? Is the battery charged? Anything beyond this, I gotta get a real man to look at it. But I believe in you. I'm trying to help you out. Let's have a little empathy here. Put yourself in a lesbian's shoes. Who do lesbians think? Women. Who do they do? Who do they do? They move in with women. Who do they get in relationships with? Women. Who do they eventually marry? Women. And I was thinking, like, oh my God, I did that. I know what it's like to live with one of those fucking things. <laughs> I know exactly what that is. It's hopeless. <laughs> Trying to make them happy. Hey, I thought you the shiny thing. Did I do it right? Huh? Trying to get them to take responsibility for their actions. Not gonna happen. The best you're gonna get is I'm sorry, but I know what it's like to be winning a fucking argument. You're winning, you're winning, you're winning. And then they turn it around. They're crying. You're apologizing. You're thinking, what the fuck just happened? How am I losing this shit? I had you on the rope. You feel so dumb. You gotta go for a walk. And you're just thinking, how did I lose again? Good. And then you figure it out. It makes you feel stupid. And then you see some bald idiot with a giant orange mustache. And you're like, you know what? Why don't you take some of that shit? I gotta tell you, the way white women somehow hijack the woke movement, generals around the world should be analyzing this. The woke movement was supposed to be about people of color, and it was about that for about eight seconds. And then somehow, white women swung their Gucci booted feet over the fence of oppression and stuck themselves at the front of the line. My name is so hard. With my SUV in my heated seats, you have no idea what it's like to be me. Trash and white guys, the nerve. Where's the camera? The nerve of you white women. You guys stood by us toxic white males through centuries of our crimes against humanity. And occasionally, when you wanted to sneak off and hook up with a black dude, if you got caught, you said it wasn't consensual. Yeah, that's what you did. So why don't you shut, shut up? Sit down next to me and take your talking to. <laughs> so I sit down and I'm watching this documentary as a white dude, which is what I am. I'm looking out my white head, watching this white shit. It's coming back into my white eyes, getting whiter by the fucking second. <laughs> All right? Now my wife, on the other hand, she's black, right? Now I hate saying that because it makes it seem like I'm gonna start doing some stupid comparison jokes. You know, those dumb white guy, black guy jokes. And it's always like the white guy's like, oh, Jesus, I gotta, I gotta do my taxes. Can this chair hold me? The black guy's always like, you need to loosen up. You gotta relax, man. You just gotta let it happen. Right? <laughs> it's always the same stupid fucking joke. I hate those jokes, you know, because they're easy. And it's been my experience that it's just not true. You know, 15 years of being with her, there's really no difference, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a woman. So now it's like, I'm in this weird place where I'm not in any religion right now. Unrestricted free agent. <laughs> and I'll... <laughs> I'd like to believe in something. So I've been going around asking people what this shit is and I haven't been able to find anything. I'm trying to be open-minded. I was doing a gig in Helsinki and uh, over there they're like Lutheran. And what they believe, they believe when you die, you're dead. And that's it, dead. Like, like a pigeon, just, just laying there, over. Blew my mind, I'm like, really, you're just dead like this, you don't, like my religion was, you know, you, you die and then you go up to get judged, right? God pops in the DVD of your life, oh, I don't know about this right here. <laughs> mind explaining yourself? Actually, I had this black dude moved in my building, man, lives on the same floor as me. He's one of these dudes, every time, he's, he's hilarious. Every time he says some shit, right after he's done saying that, he repeats like the most important part of like the previous sentence. It's hilarious. Everything he said will be like, yo, my man came in, he put that on the table. Put it on the table! <laughs> like, this country's at war, son. War! I'm just looking at my friend like, dude, did you hear him the first time? Because I, I heard him the first time. I was smiling, I was nodding. Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion. I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. I'm fine, I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. Shit, so when man. I show up, with my white version of brand new, which is, you know, I basically, I ironed the shit, right? I ironed it, right? It's new. They just start trashing me. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. It's like a rule or something. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10 day period. One of them's going to notice. All of a sudden just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit 
He had on last Tuesday. It's the last thing they cured. Do you know what fake oh lights looked like when I was a kid? Huh? First of all, there was only one color. It was like band-aid color. And everybody knew you had a fake leg and you were fucking walking down the street. I mean, oh, you got a fake leg. What do you think happened? Motorcycle accident. Fell down a flight of stairs. Got impatient with a wood chipper, right? Everybody knew you had a fake leg. Now, if you have fake legs, you're not allowed to compete with people with real legs in the Olympics because not having legs is now more of an advantage than having real legs. Doctors make better legs than God. All right, your calves and your feet flopping around a no Are you match serious? for a couple of sickles. These people just skiing down the fucking street. You get to buy some train tracks that go downhill, you're never gonna see them again. I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes, right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. They had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, why is that? Uh, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets! Nobody is going to women's soccer games! You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena, 1,500 people show up, that's not a good night! The promoter lost his fucking ass on that gig! I'm not saying no professional female athletes, Serena Williams, the women in the UFC, you know? But nobody's watching your fucking sport. And then you're gonna come and you're gonna get mad at fucking men. They keep doing that shit. Why are you yelling at us? That is it, they keep doing that shit. Every single time, guys. Bimbo, he's hilarious. Like, 10 minutes with him, it's like... It's, it's like one hour for me. Like, it's really, really funny. It got me crack up, it got me smiling. Chill up, like, you kind of like forget how your day was today. You're just, you're just, I'm just focused on Bimbo right now. Before I watched this, I was kind of like sad because I'm, I was having some relationship stuff. But right now, <laughs> I'm kind of like excited. Like, I'm feeling the joy in me. Like, like, I'm really feeling the joy. It's 10 minutes of my time, and I really love every minute of it. This is really hilarious. I love how this is a compilation, like, different of billboard jokes come together. Like, it really made my day. This is really, really exciting, and I was really into it. This is true, and it got me cracked up. I'm happy. Like, I'm really, really happy. This guy, oh my goodness, guys. This guy got me cracked up. I can't miss a date for this right now. Like, I can't miss a date to watch Bebo right now. Because this, this, this is so entertaining. It's so, so entertaining. This is full definition of entertainment. This is so good. I love the moment to read. And I'm happy that I'm happy right now. Like, after watching this, I'm kind of like free in spirit. I'm more excited because I was having some emotional um, breakdown. So right now, I'm kind of like happy a bit after watching Bebo. This is exciting. This is really really intriguing i love every moment of it and i'm i'm happy i watched it comment down below what you think about this give us a thumbs up share this video as many as can subscribe to our youtube channel guys and how do you so see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i just want a bag like a old lady i'm back wood smoking i don't own papers pass that 808 that don't don't shake her or bitch you know i'm grinding like a pro skater baby mama bugging i'm so quick to hit ignore buku bitch in my bed i got scales all